It's a very solemn, sad day, and yet joyful, too. We lost him on April 10th. What resonates at Fort Logan more than loss... We were married for 55 years. ...is love. And a great guy. The kind of love Cheryl Lynn Plowman has for her husband. Okay, follow me. This ceremony was very important to him. He really wanted to have this service. What echoes across the cemetery is service. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful bell. Listen, and you'll hear the sound of reverence reverberate. Gets to your heart, and it, it just it brought tears to my eyes. Good job. The honor bell rolls in and out of Fort Logan every day. We average 16 to 18 services a week. And they must do it day after day after day. A group of veteran volunteers toll the bell. 1,000 pounds of bronze speckled with artifacts from Colorado vets. It's about duty, honor, respect of our fallen heroes. And I'm very passionate about that. This team is here for the fallen. Lou brainstormed, he said, there's got to be some way that I can ensure that every military veteran has some kind of honor. Continuing the tradition started years ago by a veteran named Lou Oliveira. We found that we shared a love of peanut M&Ms, kind of as a traveling snack. Michelle Mallon always picks up where she left off with her friend. Yep, the squirrel's already got here. The executive director of the Honor Bell Foundation visits when she can. Staff Sergeant Louis Oliveira. A year after losing the beloved husband, father, and more. They kind of limit you to what you're allowed to put on these things, so. We wanted to put RLTW, Rangers Lead the Way but they wouldn't let us. No acronyms. Long before Lou met Michelle, he served and fought in Panama. Things went awry pretty early in the operation, and Lou was shot several times. And for a very long time, he wondered why he didn't die, that there must be some purpose, something that he was meant to do. Lou attended the funeral of his friend's father, a World War II vet, and noticed something missing. There were no honors. Nobody showed up to do honors, for whatever reason, we don't know. Lou dreamed up the bell and found purpose in sounding the loss of a veteran. For the last four years of his life, it was, it was everything. It was every day for, for all of us. Service after service, Lou told the bell hundreds of times by himself. He saw a problem and he fixed it. And he built a community around himself and the bell to address it. It was easy to see the bell was his passion. Few knew of the pain he held inside. Like many veterans, he struggled with PTS. Uh, he struggled with the physical pain of his injuries from that combat mission. July 12, 2018. It's tough. It's no easier to talk about a year mm -hmm. later. It was a pretty sad, pretty sad day. And you know, at first when he passed, for me, I, I didn't want to say it to the public. I didn't want to talk about it. And unfortunately, later that evening, he took his life. More than 6,000 veterans make the same choice every year. We definitely need to talk about it on a daily basis because it's an epidemic. Lou was so known and loved in this community that I realized hiding it, um, hiding that that's the way he went, was not doing a service to anybody else. Silence was no way to honor Lou. His dream will live on without him. Ma'am, on behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Air Force, a truly grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Thank you. Thank you very much. For each and every veteran lost, a team will carry on his mission. Eight. Eight. Let's go.
Let's do this. The final goodbye. Oh. It's a very uh, solemn ceremony, isn't it? It's beautiful. Jim would be so proud and honored. They'll toll the honor bell for all who served and make sure it's loud enough for Lou. He gets to hear that bell toll every day. Noel Brennan, 9 News.